Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I guess you have heard by now that the sentencing for DJT has been put forward until November the 26th. It was supposed to be September the 18th. That's fantastic news. That's just amazing. I believe God is working. And he's working behind the scenes in many ways, I think, to change people's minds. Because I believe God is protecting Trump. I really do. And I believe God has shown me that he's going to be our next president. I believe he got it way back when. There's been a lot of cheating going on. And I believe that's going to be revealed as well. But last night before I went to sleep, I asked the Lord what he wanted me to talk about. And I heard or was shown the number 11 through my dreams. So... Today I looked up the meaning of 11 in the Bible. Now God showed me a long time ago when I picked up the Bible. I believe I was probably in my 30s or so. And I saw the words just come forward off of the page. And I saw that there was something underneath the words. So after that, I heard about gematria and each letter of the Hebrew alphabet has a number to it. And I believe that God speaks through numbers and he has messages if we just search it out. But I looked up the meaning of the number 11 and it can either mean blessings and recompense for the faithful and it also can mean judgment. So I believe the Lord is going to really bless his people. His people who have been faithful to him. And praying to him about our country. And looking to him for answers for our problems. I believe God is going to give his people many, many wonderful blessings. And one of those blessings, major blessings, is that our country will have real freedom again. But what's going to happen to the wicked is that they are going to be judged for what they have done. They have tried to bring down the innocent. They're going to be hung on their own gallows that they created for the innocent. They're going to fall into their own pit that they created for the innocent. And I wanted to read a word to you. Um, this is found in Isaiah chapter 40. And it says, See, his reward is with him, talking about God, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd, he gathers the lambs in his arms. I just think that's so beautiful. Sometimes I picture myself as being a little lamb in the arms of Jesus. I just think that's beautiful. And carries them close to his heart. I want to be close to God's heart. How about you? That's the best place to be. He gently leads those that have young. 
Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand? Or with the breadth of his hand marked off the heavens? Who has held the dust of the earth in a basket or weighed the mountains on the scales and the hills in a balance? Who has understood the mind of the Lord or instructed him as his counselor? Whom did the Lord consult to enlighten him and who taught him the right way? Who was it that taught him knowledge or showed him the path of understanding? Surely the nations are like a drop in a bucket. God can turn things on a dime. But God is working. And He's going to bring about the good in our nation. The nations are regarded as dust on the scales. He weighs the islands as though they were fine dust. So God watches and he knows all things. But he's not going to let the evil and the wickedness just go on and on and on. But he's going to judge it. He's going to give his righteous ones blessings. And he's going to judge the wicked. And I think that we are on the precipice of seeing great and mighty things happening in our nation. Let's be diligent about praying about the outcome of the election and the outcome of the status of our nation. And let's bind together and pray about this. In the mighty name of Jesus, remember God loves you and so do I. Amen.